So the year of 2022 was my second year on YouTube and we started off the year with 7,333 subscribers and a total of 336,000 views. And by the end of the year, we grew to 16,033 subscribers and a total of 876,000 views. And concluding the year of 2021, I made a total of $2,152.42. And now concluding the year of 2022, I've made a total of $5,642.20. And this is all just from AdSense from being monetized on YouTube. I was also able to make slightly more with affiliate links and Skillshare classes, which I will include in this video as they all stem from this YouTube channel. Now, for those of you who are watching me for the very first time, basically my channel focuses around the topics of online side hustles. And typically my best performing videos are of me doing challenges, trying out different business methods in a certain amount of time, and basically testing it out to see if we can make any money. And I believe it's been these types of videos that have driven 80% of the growth of my channel and the money that I've been able to make. So if you've ever wondered what the analytics look like behind my channel or maybe even just a small channel, then I'm about to show you everything and be completely transparent with you all. Now, as you can see from this graph, I had uploaded a total of 13 videos throughout the year. And one thing I will criticize myself for is the lack of consistency and the large gap between uploading videos. And this is definitely something that I want to improve on going into the year of 2023. But nonetheless, we can see that the channel had a gradual and general uptrend of views throughout the year, with the bulk of the views coming in from July and onwards. There were also larger spikes of views that came from certain videos that I had uploaded throughout the year, and the first being my new home desk setup video, which actually took some time to gain traction, but then took off towards the end of February. Then the second spike came from my second Red Bubble Challenge video, which gained traction a lot quicker than any other previous video. And lastly, the biggest spike came from one of my recent videos, which was on the future of AI. And this was the fastest video that I've ever had, and it seemed to have been picked up by the algorithm immediately and pushed out for the next few days before returning to normal levels. And when you compare the views chart to the revenue chart, you can definitely see these spikes take effect and turn more in from AdSense. Now, if we take a look at the top five performing videos from 2022 in terms of revenue generated, it's actually rather surprising. So the top video was my first Redbubble challenge video, which I had posted in March of that year. And this has made me a total of $1,558.40 from this one video alone, which is actually pretty insane for a small channel of this size to make from one video. And this makes up around 27% of the revenue generated from last year. And the second video is why I said it's surprising because this was the second video ever posted to my channel and is the highest viewed video at the moment as well. And this was posted in February of 2021. And this was the first video I did testing the side hustle challenges, which basically set the tone for the rest of my videos on this channel. Now, a whole year later, this video is still making more money than most of my other videos with a total of $888.67, which just goes to show the power of YouTube and how a few videos that you post can continue to make you money well into months or years beyond you posting it. Now, the third video is also quite interesting because if I'm honest, if it wasn't for me filming this video, I probably wouldn't have picked up on this at all as this video hasn't actually done that well in terms of views, especially when comparing it to others. So to see this video being ranked third is actually surprising. And the reason this has made a decent amount of money in comparison to its total views is because of the CPM, which is the number that we see right here. And this number represents the amount that YouTube actually charges advertisers to appear on a video per 1000 views and this is without a doubt the highest CPM that I have on any of my videos. And then looking at the RPM which is the amount that we as the creator make per 1000 views it was $31.72 and this is the highest amount I've ever received on a video and in total this video has made me $702.63 throughout the last year. And for the fourth video this was my second Redbubble challenge and I kind of knew this one would do well just because of the response that I had from the first challenge that I did on Redbubble. And this video has made me a total of $648 dollars and 64 cents and i think this video will continue to rise as this was posted quite recently in october so there's a good chance that some earnings will follow through into the year 2023 and for the fifth video this is again another side hustle challenge video that i had posted in 2021 which was actually a follow-up to the first fiverr video that i did and this video has made me a total of 366 dollars and 91 cents in the year of 2022 and it's really inspiring to see older videos still generating a decent amount of adsense even a year on from it being uploaded because I now know that the bulk of the AdSense made on videos generally comes months or years later and not just days after it being uploaded. Now to quickly take a look at the AdSense broken down from month to month, we can see that the highest paying month was in December which was $830.99 and the lowest paying month was January with $150.09. And this is of course a rather large gap 
but I think it comes down to a long period where I didn't upload for around five to six months towards the end of 2021. And this then shows at the start of the year where people weren't really watching my videos as much. But then when we view it in months in order and take a look at this chart, we can see a gradual uptrend, which is promising and tells me that as long as I continue to post consistently and improve the quality of my videos and make them more engaging, we could continue to see this trend into 2023. Now, besides just YouTube AdSense, I do also make money from other streams such as Skillshare and affiliate marketing. And for Skillshare, this is where I currently host two different classes on the topics of building a print-on-demand business on Etsy, and the second one being a tutorial on how to use Canva. And being that I use Canva for pretty much all of my side hustle challenge videos, I did begin receiving requests from people asking for a tutorial or a guide, so it only made sense to create this sort of long-form content on a website like Skillshare. But now, as we can see from my earnings breakdown, I managed to make a total of $1,416.23. And this amount was generated from two different streams. The first being the Skillshare Teacher Fund, which is essentially where Skillshare will pay you for all the engagement and watch hours that you get on your classes. And the second is referrals, which is where I get paid for any time someone signs up to Skillshare using my own personal link. We can also see the full monthly breakdown here, and I didn't actually get around to posting my first Skillshare class until the month of June, hence why we don't have a full year of earnings just yet. But in general, I am seeing a gradual increase month to month, which is good and promising. Although I won't be making any more classes on Skillshare for reasons that I've explained in another video. But in short, they recently slashed the Skillshare teacher fund by 40%, which means teachers are now being paid far less. And personally, I think this says a lot about them as a company and how they view their teachers who essentially make the site. So in the future, I will most likely look for other ways to actually release my longer form videos and tutorials. And as mentioned, I do also make a small amount of money through affiliate links. And the affiliate websites I typically make money from are Canva, Fiverr, and Amazon. And in total, I have made $468.38 from all three with Canva being the highest making me $258.75 for the year. Then followed by Fiverr making me $135.81 and Amazon making $73.82. So not anything crazy in comparison to the revenue generated from YouTube or Skillshare, but it's still something that I'm getting paid for just by simply putting a link in the descriptions of my videos. And I wouldn't say I'm pushy with these links either. If I happen to be doing a video where I'm using Canva, then I will mention that there is a link down in the description but I don't go into advertising mode and try to sell people on it. And this is the same with the Fiverr and Amazon links. If somebody already has the intentions to go to that certain website, they're going to find their way there anyway. So I may as well, for one, make it easier and more direct for that viewer to actually reach that website, and two, just make a small commission for being the one to get them to check that website out. Now quickly onto sponsorships where I made a total of zero dollars. And this is because I'm yet to receive an offer from a company that I actually believe in and feel would benefit my audience. Because even though I am a small channel with 16 to 17,000 subscribers, I still do receive offers from companies around two to three times a week. And I won't show any of the companies or people that have reached out to me as I don't want to directly bash them, but you can tell that a lot of these companies have bad intentions with what they're trying to do and what they're trying to achieve. And a lot of them are for an NFT project or some sort of crypto token, or even just some sort of guru mentoring program or website. So until a company I feel suits my channel and can actually benefit the people who watch my videos, I won't be taking any sponsorships, no matter the dollar amount. But anyway, now for the question as to how much I made from everything. The grand total of all income streams combined comes to $7,526.81, which for a small YouTube channel of this size really isn't bad at all in my eyes. And I'm personally quite happy with this amount considering YouTube was very much part time for me last year. But now looking into the year of 2023, I'm hoping that I can stay more consistent with my videos. And my overall goal for this year is to just improve on every aspect that I possibly can from the video ideas and topics to the editing of the videos and even the way that I actually shoot the videos and the equipment that I use. So regardless of the metrics or the money that I achieve this year, I'll be more than happy just to see a 1-2% to increase in every video that I make across this year. And let me just say, I didn't make this video to try and flex on anyone. I'm just hoping this video gives everyone a good insight into how much a small YouTube channel actually makes. And I hope it inspires people to actually try YouTube for themselves and see what's possible. Because I know I most certainly had my doubts before committing to YouTube, and it was videos like this that inspired me and made me realize that you don't need a million subscribers to actually make money on this platform. But anyway, that is going to wrap up this video. Video, so I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye for now. Peace.